All right, this video is an introduction to uh, linear equations. All right, so let's start off with, uh, with a note. It says that an equation expresses the equality of two mathematical expressions. All right, so for example, 2 plus 5 is a mathematical expression, and 7 is a mathematical expression. And so this is an equation because we've got one mathematical expression equal to another mathematical expression. That's really all that an equation is. Take, um, take for example, the second one. Uh, the mathematical expression on the left is x plus 3, and the mathematical expression on the right is 9. We've got the equation x plus 3 equals 9, right? because you've got this expression equal to that expression. And the same idea down here. You have y is one expression equal to negative 4 minus 7y, and that's, that's another expression. So really, all that an equation is, uh, one expression equal to another expression. All right, so now let's talk about solutions of equations. So note that a solution of an equation is a number that, when substituted in for the variable, uh, results in a true statement. For example, let's take x plus 3 equals 9. All right, so 6 is a solution because if you plug 6 in for x, you get 6 plus 3 which does equal 9. That's a true statement. But 5 is not a solution because if you substitute 5 in for x, you get 5 plus 3 on the left side, and that would be 8. And 8 does not equal 9. Everybody see the difference? All right, so a solution of an equation is uh, any number that when you substitute in for the variable, um, you get a true statement left over. All right, that's it. All right, let's do some examples. Is 2 a solution of 7 minus 3n equals 8? All right, well, to determine that, we're literally going to substitute in 2 for the n. So we have 7 minus 3. We're going to substitute that 2n equals 8. And then we simplify this up. So we have 7 minus, this is going to go to 6 equals 8. So you get 1 equals 8. Well, that's false. Okay, that's false. 1 does not equal 8. Therefore, 2 is not a solution to this equation. So we say no. Did I get the idea? All right, is negative 3 a solution of 5 minus m equals 2 minus 2m? All right, notice that m occurs in our equation more than once. And it doesn't matter how many times the variable may occur in an equation. Uh, to determine if a number is a solution of that equation, then you literally take that number and substitute, substitute it in for the variable for every place that the variable is at. Right? So we're going to have 5 minus, I'm going to put parentheses around that negative 3, because it's 5 minus m, and m is a negative 3. We want to make sure we put the parentheses there. Equals 2 minus 2 times negative 3. All right? And then we simplify up. This goes to 5 plus 3. This goes to 2 plus 6. And we're going to get 8 equals 8. And that is a true statement. So yes, negative 3 is a solution to that equation. All right? So that's just uh, that's the idea about what an equation is and um, if a number is a solution or not to a particular equation. Now, having said all of that, uh, we do, I do want to make one last note. All right, the difference between an expression and an equation is that an expression can only be simplified. That's what we've been doing prior to this point, it's just simplifying up expressions. While an equation has the possibility of having a solution. So we're, we're going to be able to find values for the variable that when you substitute, in, substitute those values in for the variable into the equation, you're left with a true statement. Right, so, the, so essentially, an expression can only be simplified, an equation uh, you know, can be solved. That, doesn't, that does not mean that every equation has a solution. We will talk about that um, later. But uh, essentially, you've got an equation or not. So 7x minus 4 is an expression. You cannot solve that for x. There's nothing we can do. With that, even if we had, say, 2 times 7x minus 4, all we could do is rewrite that as 14x minus 8. 
right? It's just an expression. It's not an equation to begin with. And no, you can't just go, oh, let's put equals zero up here, and then equals zero, and then solve it. You can't do that, right? If it's not there to begin with, so it's just not an equation. So let me erase this real quick, okay? Whereas if we start with something like x plus 8 equals 4, this is an equation. In the next video, we're going to learn techniques of how to solve equations. Right? right now, we need to know the difference. Very important to know the difference between an expression over here on the left, which we cannot solve for the variable, and an equation, which is over here on the right, which will have the possibility of having a solution. We will learn ways to solve equations. Right? So equations have equal signs. Expressions do not. All right, that's it for now. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.